Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Ryan Swanson. I'm the Training and Development Manager for ProSpot International. And today we're here to talk to you about some of our main ProSpot products, but also a little bit about ProSpot. So ProSpot prides themselves on innovation, adaptation, and making sure that it's as easy as possible for today's collision repair technician. Today's evolving industry is changing. It's getting harder and harder for technicians to understand the equipment. So the easier that we can make it uh, be for the technicians, the easier it is for everybody. And what better piece of equipment to start that off than the flagship product for ProSpot, which is the I4S resistant spot welder. No longer is a resistant spot welder uh, an, uh, an extra in a collision repair shop. A, a resistant spot welder is absolutely a necessity for collision repair shop to operate and operate professionally in today's world. Cars are changing, the equipment has to change with it. So with that, with the I4S having full auto mode capability, being able to give you instant feedback right on the welder, being able to tell you if you got a good weld or bad weld, being able to log all those different welds so that you can prove what you did on the car is all what we've come up with in the I4S, which makes it perfect for any shop situation. So we have Kurt over here. Kurt, you're out there in the field quite often. What are some of the main challenges you hear from these shop owners or, or managers that are out there running these facilities? Usually it's technician turnover. Technician um, turnover. And the training that required to get the technicians up to date and just up to speed with their equipment that they currently have in the shop. Yep, and I'm glad that you said that, Kurt. That is absolutely perfect. So with what he just said, technician turnover, that's no secret in today's collision repair industry. Unfortunately, technician turnover happens and it happens often. With that, there's different welding manufacturers, there's different equipment manufacturers that the technician might be using their equipment in the facility. So with technician turnover, when you have a new technician show up at your facility and he maybe used a different brand welder before, the I4S makes it really easy for that technician to be able to stand in and understand what he's doing on the welder. So when you talk about a technician needing the training and needing to understand what he's doing, not every technician is going to have the abil availability to go walk up to his neighbor and say, hey, uh, how, how do I use this? I, I know I use one kind of like it, but, yeah, guys are but I've never seen this, right? Guys yeah, are... They're, they're busy. They don't want to give up their time to train a new technician. So this features of the I4S really help with that. Yeah, so I'll have you guys come over and let's take a look at the screen here. And we're gonna show you some of the main things that we do here on the I4S that helps with all those things that we just talked about. And I wanna keep in mind that the things that we're about to show you is unique to ProSpot International. And it's something that our engineers have worked very, very hard on to make sure that it's as easy as possible for the technician, which is what ProSpot's all about. So when we take a look at the I4S resistant spot welding screen, there's a couple key things that you can see here. There's a button that says training, and there's also a button that says help. So if you're a technician, you've never used a ProSpot welder or the I4S in general, and I come over here and I click on the training video, I have a video library button. So let's say I don't know how to change an arm, or I just overall, I don't know how to use the welder. So I can go anything from how to navigate the I4S on the touch screen, you also have speakers that come directly from the welder, or you can hook up headphones in a loud shop uh, type setting. Something as simple as changing arms on the welder, if the technician's not sure how to change the arm because it's different than the last one that he used, you can click on the training video and easily watch a video and train yourself how to change the arm on the welder. So there's no more guesswork, there's no more waiting for your sales rep to answer the phone or come out and train your t new technician. The technician can literally watch a group of videos and within 10 or 15 minutes, he can understand how to use this welder completely. ProSpot International and our engineers worked even harder and went one step further. So we talk about the I4S being an auto mode welder. An auto mode welder means no matter what the thickness of the material is, no matter what kind of metal it is, or what is in between the materials, the I4S will automatically calculate that basically you do a really large math problem in a really quick amount of time and it will produce the correct welding current, squeeze pressure and welding time that is needed for that specific, specific stack up. But once again, let's talk about a technician that's new to the I4S and has never worked with one before. If he comes over and he clicks on the auto mode feature and he does not know how to use it, we have a question mark on each screen. 
So when you click on the question mark on each screen, you'll notice that as I scroll through, it's only telling me about the things that are on the auto mode screen. It's not gonna tell me about other parts of the welder. It keeps it very specific so the technician doesn't get lost. So after a few minutes of reading through the question marks, the technician should be able to understand how to calibrate and complete an auto weld with the I4S. And then if we move into the manual weld screen, if the technician has only used an auto mode welder or is not sure how to use the manual mode, you can see once again, there's a question mark. And this one is gonna be specific to the manual mode welding. It is not gonna go over how to calibrate or how to complete an auto weld because we're not in that screen. So once again, it makes it really easy for the technician to be able to come over to the welder and refresh or completely train himself on how to use the equipment without any guesswork. So Kurt, that was a great uh, intro on training. What's another issue that a, a shop owner or manager might have when you're talking about buying a piece of equipment like this? Keeping it up to date with the latest specs and procedures and um, repair methods that are, are common on today's manufacturers. Yep, so today's uh, vehicles are so complicated and they're changing so fast that shop owners, managers, whoever needs to purchase the equipment might be worried about making sure that this piece of equipment is going to last them now and into the future. And that's something that we work the hardest on at ProSpot International on the I4S is coming up with the actual weld controller inside. It is the industry's first Wi-Fi capable auto update. So just like your iPhone or your Samsung uh, Android phone, when you have an update and you turn it on in the morning and it says you have an update on your phone, that's how the I4S works. So whether it's a minor software bug, maybe Tesla or GM comes out with a new uh, vehicle and we have to go through a round of testing, we can test the I4S, we can update the welder, and we can automatically send that out via Wi-Fi to make sure that the customer, the shop, has the most updated weld logs, the most updated weld schedules, and they can be confident now and moving forward that their welder is up to date. So it makes it a really big, uh, really great for them. I basically, mean, really, they don't have to worry about basically it. Basically future-proof. Future-proof. Future-proof yep. is a great way to put it. Future-proof. You get the updates, yep. new models come out, new stack-ups come out, our welding engineers go to work, and we come up with the new weld schedules, the new auto mode values, and we plug that right into your computer, come in the shop in the morning and update it, and you're good to go. Mm -hmm. The other thing that will help too is when you have OEMs that come out and they require a certain welder, OEMs in the future are going to not only require a certain welder, but they're also going to require a certain software revision. So when we go through testing with a company like GM, they might actually ask for the software version that we have to provide to them. So when you come out and have your shop checked out to make sure that you have the equipment that you need, they actually will look at the software update and make sure that your software is current. Current software will mean, can mean the difference between getting your sign off or not being up to date and not getting that OEM approval. So um, we talked about the, the ease of use, the, the, the fact that technician turnover really isn't an issue on this. Um, what about actually welding with the, with the machine? One other thing I find that's just great about this is that it's an automatic welder. So therefore, um, we don't have to get in and type in any information into the machine. Um, we set it, calibrate it, and we're ready to go. We can change um, thicknesses, types of metal, like Ryan said, um, but also, Every attachment on this welder is usable in auto mode, whereas other companies, it is not. That was a perfect lead in. I like what you just said there, Kurt. So I'm gonna slide in front here. We're gonna loosen this guy off. And we wanna point out uh, ProSpot's new CX, C to X adapter. This is one of the most popular adapters for technicians in the collision repair industry. This is great for wheelhouses. This is great for bedsides. This is great for windshield openings. Uh, it's great for like aprons on Chevy trucks and Cadillacs where they have a flat apron. So with that being said, we are the very first, the collision industry's first patented C to X arm that can be used in auto mode. In years past and with other manufacturers, their C to X arm is not capable of reaching the force needed between the tips. With that, they have to actually use the welder in manual mode. 
Many companies like GM nowadays, they want you to use auto mode for everything that you possibly can. So if you're not able to use your arm in auto mode, it really puts you in a bind. Yeah. So we're really proud here at ProSpot, the industry's first patented auto mode capable C to X adapter. And it also has the quick release on there. So every other C to X adapter in the industry, you actually have to unscrew the electrode. If we can come over here, I can kind of point that out to you but the electrode on here actually has to come off of the arm in order to get this on. But with ProSpot, we went to work, our engineers uh, were able to come up with a great system that we're actually able to just slide this arm on without it doing anything special or removing any parts. So real quickly, I can show that to you guys. We can just remove the water lines. You're just gonna loosen the handle. The arm comes off as easy as that. You don't need any dielectric grease or lithium grease or anything like that. Just make sure that the handle is loose. The little coupler slides on and the handle slides in between the adapter. Click the water lines in and you are ready to go with your new C to X adapter and can use it in auto mode. So that's a great feature that the i4S has for sure. And changing the arm back as easy as just removing the water lines and loosening the handle to go back. And that really goes back to what you said about training a new technician. Um, any kind of user error that was possible with this machine or with other machines, that is taken away in the auto mode. Being able to use this in auto is, is huge. It's, it's pretty much game changing because this is a, a great arm to get into different locations on a vehicle and a repair that you can't get to with these. So that just that's just a great feature. I'm yep. glad that they came up with that and it's been really good. I've heard nothing but great things about it. Another thing that we definitely want to point out too as well is being able to have the bonus feature of having the single sided or what we would like to call at ProSpot, the dent pulling application side. So you have your double sided for your resistant spot welding, but in the collision world, we also have a lot of steel that we either have to weld a rear body uh, stud on. So like a VW that might not come with the actual tail light stud for a rear body panel. Um, this can go ahead and do that. You just change out the attachment and you can weld those uh, different studs on there. You can use it for dent pulling applications like with the slide hammer, the body man's favorite tool that I'm holding here in my hand. There's also attachments that we can put on here to weld keys and washers to make those pulls on different uh, types of damage on the vehicle itself. So the dent pulling application, definitely a nice little add-on that you get here. Um, definitely a couple thousand dollar option, you know, that just comes right on the i4s, uh, you know, right with it. So definitely helps out the shop there, being able to do more than just the resistance uh, welding on that side. All right, I've walked over to the other side of the machine now so that we can get a tight look on the screen and the gun. We're gonna pan back and forth so that we can actually do a couple welds and show you what the auto mode looks like on the i4S and show you how easy it is to actually use. So I have Kurt over here. He's actually gonna pull the trigger so that you guys can see the weld as it happens. Okay. On the screen, you guys can see that currently it says 1.4 millimeters. So it looks like the last weld that we did, the panel stack up was 1.4, but we're gonna start at the calibrate. So we'll have uh, Kurt hit the calibrate button. You'll see it gives you directions on the screen to press that top button to reverse the tips. So he's gonna reverse the tips and then make a weld without metal. You'll hear a light beep, and then you guys will notice that the screen now says zero. So once the screen says zero and we have the green check marks next to the calibrate and the material thickness, we know that the machine's calibrated and ready to weld. So we're gonna pan over to the gun now. And I have a nice little three layer stack up here that I've done a couple welds on. This is actually a high strength GM material. So we're gonna show you what a weld looks like. And like I said, I'll have Kurt pull the trigger here, but we're gonna start on a single layer. And you guys can see it was a nice short beep. You get the weld feedback that pops up on the screen. And then you can actually see the material thickness that it measured it at 1.5 millimeters. So we got a nice weld there. We had no issues, so we got a green check mark. So we're gonna go back over here. That was a single layer. So we're gonna go up to a two layer now and we'll see the difference on the weld time and the screen. So you can see, uh, maybe you noticed, maybe you didn't, but the weld time was actually a little bit longer. And then we go over and we look at the screen. You can see that it went from a 1.4 to a 2.9, so almost doubled in thickness. 
All right, and then we'll come back over to the gun. We'll do a three layer weld and show you the difference. So we're just going up the ladder here. So you can see that one was noticeably longer. We look at the screen, we now have a 4.3 measurement for all three of them stacked on top of each other. And we got a good weld on each one. If you look at the resistance scale, you can also see where the resistance was in the metal. So as I said, this was a higher strength steel, so it's gonna have a higher resistance. More of a mild steel, you might see that more in the green down there. So that's a resistance scale and it helps with the actual auto mode calibration. So really welding in auto mode with the I4S is as easy as that. No matter what your materials are, no matter what your stack up is, the I4S will do the calculation. It will come up with the correct welding current, the welding time and pressure, and do it all for you to ensure that you get a perfect weld every time.